unbelievable. Great teammate, first off, great human being, you know, great friend. You know, I feel like he's friends with everybody in the clubhouse, great energy in the clubhouse every single day. You know, uh, I feel like everybody in the clubhouse would say, you know, he's amazing, love having him here. You know, it's also also sick that he smacks homers too. So, but, um, I mean, he's amazing. Um, I can definitely consider him like a good friend, you know. Yeah, he's awesome. How does it help you as a pitcher when you have a hitter that hot in the lineup? I mean, yeah, it's must, you know, must watch television. I feel like everybody, when he comes up to bat at this point, is watching the TV because, I mean, even when he gets down 0-2, 1-2, you know, the bats he still puts together, you know, just, I mean, he's unbelievable. It's so much fun to watch. And every time he comes up, I'm making sure I'm watching. Um, I mean, you're definitely more cautious. You have to be uh, because, I mean, if you leave something over the heart of the plate, he can change his score. Um, I mean, the guy, the Cardinals have a few guys, you know, I would say that are like that. So, um, you know, I mean, with those kind of guys, you just have to be extremely cautious. You know, when you're in the zone, you got to be aware of where it's at. When you're uh, trying to get a swing and miss, you got to make sure you execute the pitch and stuff. Um, yeah, when the when different guys around the league, different hitters, guys like Belly, I would consider Goldschmidt, Arnado, Wilson, all them guys. You know, when they're hot, you get just got to be cautious when you're in the zone. Even when you're out of the zone, they can do damage. Almost a, a approach, not bad by Beth. When there's two outs. Sorry, start over one. When, you know, when, when there's a guy on third and two outs, you know, he homer play, right? Do you almost have to approach that at bat where you're just pitching around him and let's get some nice guys since he's batting over 400? Um, I'll. I wouldn't say pitching around. Um, I don't really ever try to do that, really. But just like when you're when you're going in the zone, you just got to be aware and cautious of where you're putting it in the zone. I would say. Obviously, you ran into a little bit of trouble there in the second. Just how did you feel like you responded well and got through the rest of the? Yeah, I kind of felt like I was executing pitches. Um, I was kind of doing, you know, for the entirety of the game, pretty much. I would say I was kind of doing what I was wanting to do, executing pitches, putting the ball where I wanted to and stuff. And I mean, you know, you got to tip your cap sometimes. You know, they put enough wood on it, you know, find a hole and stuff. Um, but, yeah, for pretty much the entire game, I felt really good. Felt like I was controlling my pitches when I need to and stuff. How do you feel 10 wins in, the, in your first time? That's really cool. Um, yeah, definitely something I can, uh, you know, take home with me. That's something that's really cool, 10 wins in the big leagues. I mean, that's not something – you know, that's done every day, I would say. Um, it's really cool to experience it, but, um, you know, hope for many more. <laughs> yeah, he gets, he gets pretty fired up and starts smacking everybody. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's really fun to watch him, you know, compete and stuff. And you can definitely tell, like, when the game's close, when it's a one-run ball game, two-run, like – you know, impactful innings. He uh, he definitely catches another gear, and that's uh, it's really cool to see. And you know, same with him as Belly. Like you know, when he comes in to close the game, and it's close game, it's kind of must watch because he's you know he's gonna bring his like nastiest stuff.